It's easy to forget sometimes that driving is a privilege and not a right. It's okay, we're at a red light right now. As you've probably heard, distracted driving is killing more people these days than drunk driving. But who's to blame? Cell phone companies for creating increasingly intuitive apps? Car companies for not making smarter cars? Or me for not being able to control my impulse to pick up my phone? Even a good driver becomes a dangerous driver when they're not uh, paying uh, attention to the road. Founder of Sync Technologies, Nolan Wheeler, helped create a mobile app that aims to curb distracted driving. Well, let's see if we can make a breathalyzer type concept for uh, texting and driving, emailing, driving, you know, using apps and those types of things. I didn't want to have my truck on the news because somebody went through an intersection and uh, clipped somebody. One of their fleet drivers was caught, without their knowledge, seven times for texting and driving. He stopped driving uh, our trucks for a while. Having an experienced car installer and a savvy app developer on his team, they came up with a solution by producing QDrive, a smartphone lockout vehicle immobilizer. Paired by Bluetooth, until your phone is locked, your car is not starting. Your hands-free devices in terms of all your uh, legal uh, hands-free devices, Bluetooth connectivity, uh, you know, your Ford Sync, etc., that all still works. Once the app is engaged, the car starts and you're unable to use your phone in any way. You need your attention to drive properly. Although your notification light may still flash. That beep, beep, beep. Uh, we all instantly want to know what that is. Well, looks like I won't be using my phone for a while, but is this a viable solution to a much deeper problem? It's impacting us much more deeply in terms of the quality of our relationships, our ability to be present with each other, our ability to think, to focus. Last year, internet addiction disorder was officially recognized as a psychiatric disorder. We may think we're connecting with people when we're online, but majority of the time, it's the reverse. MTV coined this term called FOMO, fear of missing out. And what we find is the number one motivator for people to go online, for particularly young people, is not the pleasure or the joy of connecting, it's actually the fear of being left out. But why do we reach for it at the most inconvenient time? Addictive behavior starts to take over. So one of those uh, elements of addiction uh, for the criteria is loss of control. So even though you know you shouldn't be doing it, you're still doing it. Giving rise to apps like QDrive. It just really forces you to follow the rules. Some may argue having a passenger is just as distracting. That person's actually paying attention to what you're doing and they actually pull back and they see if you, if something happens, they actually stop engaging with you. A more fluid interaction, quite different than the mobile communication where body cues aren't seen. As for our distracted ways, Acknowledging that, you know, what are your patterns? 72% of people check their phones before going to bed. Are you one of them? In Victoria, I'm Reggie Cabley.